What's up? I uh, I wanted to make a different style of video today. Uh, so I wanted to make myself a little bit uncomfortable because I'm not great with without the editing and the talking. But mainly, what I want to do here is I want to practice my art, and I wanted to kind of take you along with it, almost like a training session, you know, where we just sit down and we go through different categories with every single video. Best way I get to practice art, I get to practice speaking and showing you what I do at the same time. And it's almost as if it's a way of documenting what I'm doing. Uh, you might have to bear with me a little bit as I really uh, see the best way of recording this. Uh, I, w I could have done this digitally, but I want to go back into the sketchbook just to make sure that you guys at home, you don't need no digital stuff to follow along and, you know, learn these things with me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight to the basics and we're going to be working on fundamentals first. And with that, we're going to start with the skeleton. So the skeleton of the body, almost like the foundation of a house, putting it all together. And yeah, we're just going to look at some references and we're going to sketch it out and learn together so yeah I'm, I'm gonna get straight to it i guess all right so hopefully you can see this well i had to rearrange my lighting a little bit uh because it was on the other side of the desk so now hopefully it should be pretty well lit um and we're gonna get straight to it i have a reference of an arm so i'm gonna start off with skeleton arms Um, and really, like I mentioned earlier, I kind of just want to build a foundation but behind everything. So if you were drawing an arm, you'd know exactly where the bones are. So it gives you a reference point as to where you want to put everything. Overall, I think the arm is probably much more complex than it needs to be, like in terms of the skeleton structure. And you definitely don't need to know all your, like, fingers and all the bones in your hand. But I'm sure it'll help at some point. But yeah, I want to go through everything. This is just as much of a journey for the people, you guys watching, as it is for me. So I'm going to treat this almost like a gym session. <laughs> you know, you got to go in, you got to train the muscle. And uh, I'm going to be going in here training the drawing muscles. So I'm going to start with the arm. Probably just some basic shapes, but everything. I, I actually, uh, I had this idea earlier on to do videos like this, and I, had a, I was just really, really <laughs> looking forward to come back from work today and decide on this. But to be honest, it was meant to be something that I was going to do yesterday, but you know, life gets in the way. So we've got things to do. Also, in the midst, in the midst, I think that's the word of working on a new YouTube video for you guys. So uh, I won't spoil anything yet. Hopefully, I'll have that out by the end of the week. At the moment, I also want to do this sort of series because I want I wanted something a bit more raw. You know, whatever I'm doing here, you, you guys get to see. I don't want to edit this too much. I want this to be just accessible to everyone. So you can see my process and we can both improve at the same time. There might be bits where I go a little bit silent, but I'm going to try my best not to do too much of that. Because this is all practice. <laughs> I'm just a bit sick at the moment. Luckily, my nose is currently unblocked, so should be okay. I want to get in these proportions because I, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to run out of page space in a minute. I think we're just going to get it in. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. Yeah, rough, rough stuff, rough stuff. <laughs> I've got the labelings in here, but I'll go over that 
afterwards but at the moment just starting with foundation so all the bones what they look like and for those wondering for the equipment today let's see I need to get a better view of this using a basic Faber Castell I don't know how you pronounce their names they're called gold fabers <laughs> it's a hb but i don't know what it is with these cheaper pencils which usually if you get a hb on like something like this it's way way harder than it should be like i have the corpse what i would call of a what would the what was this this was one of the um got a mechanical version of this somewhere in here Tombow, I think, is the company. Tombows. Yeah, Tombows. So this was one of their pencils, and thing was insanely dark. Like, let's if I go over a little bit here. Look at that. That is, that's a HB pencil right there. Like, it's so much softer than than this one. Look at that. I'll, I'll, I'll do a little comparison. I mean, it looks fairly similar, as you might not be able to notice, but that one's like way darker. This one is just grey, but you know, I didn't expect much with this, to be honest. I just really wanted a pencil for the outlines and rough workings. Check. See everything well. Cool. Going back to the arm here, see that the larger bone here, the humerus as it's called, a much thicker bone than the one under it. The one under it is kind of made up of two parts, so we're going to keep that in mind when we're going lower down. For now I'll focus on this. And yeah, you guys uh, let me know what you think of this sort of stuff. I do want to try out at least a couple of episodes of this. So we'll see where that goes. But I do want to use this as an excuse to practice my own stuff. I've felt like with the other videos that I'm making, even though I'm really enjoying making them at the moment, they're not so much like surrounded by actual creation and actual drawing so I wanted this to be a little break away from that just so we get a, a little bit of that going on and yeah I do still think that I'm missing a lot of fundamental knowledge and if you want to get good at something I mean you've got to you've got to dig into the roots right you've got to get straight to the the meat the potato I don't know what you want to Call it and what this, <laughs> the saying is, but you want to you want to attack it at the root. So that's what I want to do here. I want to get to the basics. I think the basics of pretty much everything is most important. And I am going to try and talk as much as I can to keep this more entertaining because I realize it's a very long form of content. This uh, we're going to be doing a lot of just tedious stuff that maybe <laughs> some of you guys don't want to see but I'm hoping to reach a crowd which does want to see this you know I would have uh, kind of doing this from like my younger self here I would have loved something like this on YouTube when uh, when I was growing up and you know maybe I wasn't looking hard enough but all I remember was quick time lapses of people drawing Spider-Man which was awesome in itself but no, I didn't get much information out of that. I didn't get to see the process properly. Because it was all sped up and you know. And I didn't really watch Bob Ross because I wasn't into painting. And I feel like Bob Ross did it really well. He did it all normal time. Clear instructions. Talked about it all. And he was just very enjoyable to listen to. But not for drawing. I couldn't find anyone like that for drawing. So, <laughs> kind of, 
And I'm making this for myself, really. Alright, so... It is slightly coming along. Still got a lot of work to do here. And this shouldn't take that long, because it's not that complicated. But I'm also getting distracted by talking. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see this pretty clearly. If not, we'll switch to a digital setup for the next one. But I actually quite enjoy this. Oh, and I keep hitting the camera. Sorry about that. I don't want to rely on this sort of style too much. Oh, what am I saying? Some kids outside. I do apologize for that. But it is strangely warm at the moment. It was meant to get colder, but... Yeah, it's not, it's been doing weird stuff recently, the weather. So, I'm going to have to have the window cracked open a little bit, because not enjoyable, otherwise. I get very sweaty easily. I'm going to get a eraser as well, because I seem to have misplaced mine. I want to get this right. I don't want to have too many weird things in here. I also want to make use of this desk I have here a little bit more because I have this nice drawing desk, but it doesn't think I use much, unfortunately. But I do want to explain the series a little bit more uh, and as to what the plans for it are. And the plans for it are literally to develop this and go further and further and just go through everything that I can in terms of fundamentals and learning these skills and abilities mainly for me but also for you guys so you guys can have a visual of it all somewhere so you can always check it out and follow along I'm gonna hopefully put these references into the description so you guys can also see what I was looking at It does look a bit weird here, doesn't it? This whole <laughs> this whole part of the arm is weird, but we'll see. Uh, see what I can do here. It would help if I had these references like in front of me here, but I have it on my monitor to the side, so it's true. The spun's a bit curvy around here. And it gets to the end like this. I should really just be plotting it in roughly and then going over it. So I know sort of what I'm doing. This this hair is wrong. That is not how it should look. I have practiced this before, but as you can see, it's not enough. Which I think is a problem for a lot of artists, I think. We don't go back to this stuff enough. Like, to the basics, really. Like, we learn how to draw these people, but what's under there, you know? It's like... A mechanic has to know the ins and outs of a car. You can't just... I don't, I don't think that's a good example, but... We have to know what runs the engine, right? Good knowledge to have. Something you can rely on when, whenever you're doing something else. Whenever you're drawing clothes, it's good to know where the body has its muscles, so you can place the clothing upon that. So that's basically the premise of this whole thing: is like learning what the parts of the engine do. You know, it's kind of interesting to see how our bodies run. I'm also exploring the different styles of videos to make because I'm just technically, I'm not new to this, I've been doing this for a while, but I haven't experimented too much with what I want to do, so this is a perfect opportunity to do so. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there is a bit more of a drive nowadays towards content like like this, which is a little bit more, more raw, 
you know i keep hearing from everything i'm reading and things i'm consuming the content i'm consuming that if when everyone is zigging <laughs> you should be zagging and that's kind of my approach here because everyone's making these fast paced quick dopamine filled videos and while I know that's the strategy and I know that that's how you make people watch your videos nowadays, it's just something I want to try and see if I can get past that, see if I can do something different. Alright, now this part sucks. <laughs> I, I hate the hand. It has so many parts. I think I'm going to go stick figure slash that three parts for each thing now this this is theory we're learning here you know you've you've got cartoons where people have three fingers and whenever you most most of the time whenever you draw hands you really don't need to do three three bends like it's realistic right but if you if you look at in a cartoon you'll most of the time finger that's around there like it bends around here so there's really no need to doing this and this unless you're going for like a super realistic style there's no need for it so just good to know and that's why i guess we're doing it here but it's not going to be something that we will need need i'm going to try and keep this video a little bit shorter for the first one. So instead of doing the entire skeleton, I think we'll do the the arm first. Which I think that's a good good spot. You know the arms we draw the arms a lot in art, so <laughs> good to see. And this is gonna be like almost like a test for me to see what this content is like if I if I enjoy seeing it myself. Ultimately, I want to create content that I would like to watch as well. And that is the reason why I'm making this, is because I feel like I would enjoy something like this. And it's definitely something I would have wanted when I was younger. So, If we look at the fingers, right? The fingers have a weird bone shape. It's, it almost looks like this. Like you get these little top ends. Would be good actually to like break it down almost, especially the the tips of the fingers. They almost look like little penises. <laughs> really weird. <laughs> yeah, but the that's what, like what the tip of the finger looks like. What I'm seeing here is weird. I'm gonna write fingers just so no one gets confused. But yeah, that's kind of what they look like. <laughs> so to be honest, you can just follow that shape whenever you're creating it. Remember that there's like an outer bit here and then it goes inwards slightly. And then it also goes slightly rounded again and there's this little bit of, I don't know what this bit's called, the joint. Okay, that's it's a joint. <laughs> There's a joint here, and then it continues on to the next one. So it goes again, and it repeats that until it gets to the bottom, where it does it again at a much smaller scale. So that's like, this here is the rough structure of a finger. That's how you would draw it. So... I don't get to do enough detail at the bottom here. I hope you can actually see that bit. Yeah. I don't actually get to get that much detail into here, but I wanted to show you guys it from close. I'm also not going to bother with too much detail on here because at the moment I feel like this information is not needed. If I really want to figure out the structure of the fingers, I will I will go over that in a separate thing. No, but at the moment, 
these connecting here and we know the shapes of them this is what the fingers look like so I'm going to finish them off here a very rough it, this it's weird because if you look here at the rough one I think that looks better than the one I tried harder on you know sometimes in art you've got to pick and choose what what you want to spend more time on and I think that's what makes styles really really beautiful and I, uh, that's what makes people's work unique is the choice that they make whenever you, they choose to draw something and if they can make that choice and not sacrifice anything like anything look wise because you could you could easily make that choice and you could screw the entire thing up like I could have made a choice here to make this hand look like a squiggle and it just wouldn't look right so you've got to know when to make the choice that makes the hand we've got the hand here now so almost does it really look at that it's funny how you get from like random shapes to then a complete structure of something and it sort of happens in a blink of an eye like it didn't look back for too much and then suddenly we've got a whole freaking arm here pretty cool well, what I also like about art you know you get to create these things but that there is the rough structure of of your arm. I'm not going to label this for here because I don't think that information is going to prove too useful for me at the moment. Uh, I can do the main ones to see. So this is the humerus. Humerus. Then we have the an ulna. What? <laughs> what is an ulna? Hold on. Yeah, an ulna. So this is the ulna. I hope that's correct, unless I can't read. This is a radius. And then we have way too many bones for me to write them all down in the hand itself. So <laughs> screw that. And if we go here, we have the this here, this bone, and this bone. Are both called the sculptor. Okay, I'm. I can't. <laughs> it's not a sculptor. What? The sca scapula. Scapula. No idea how I came up with sculptor. But... Double check that just to make sure. Scapula. Yeah. Cool. And we've got a clavicle here. I like that a little bit, so it's clear what we've got here. Uh, add in a little bit of the details. So th this bone is on your back, and this is on your front. So imagine if this was in a 3D space. This here is, I'm going to line it like this, so you know that it is a little bit behind and this bit is a little bit in front. I've also got another reference here, just so we can quickly sort of outline this, of where more or less the arm is on here. So when we're over here, this is where we start to build the shoulder. And this guy's got some muscly shoulder, as you can see. Then the humerus is built up here. We're building the arm here then we get to this which is the shoulder uh, the, sh the elbow sorry and we build the forearm here got a bit of a thick wrist yeah thick wrist don't worry about the thick wrist I would draw this a little bit differently if I was doing this again but it's making beefier then it'll make more sense. But we're doing this roughly just so we know where this stuff goes. And then obviously you have your hand here. So this 
a lot thinner while well, I would usually do if I had the liquify tool here. God, if I only I had the liquify tool, I would bring this inwards a little bit. So that... Ah, look at that. The original liquify tool. <laughs> I'll bring this in a little bit just so we can get a more normal looking shape of the arm. Yeah, we got that thinner. That's what you want, right? That's your your arm here. It's tapers inwards to here. So yeah, this is the rough sort of shape of the arm and the bone that would be behind it. So I'm actually gonna leave it at that for today. I think we've got a good sense of the arm here. Now the best thing we can do now is practice this more and more without looking at the reference. So what I would do next is go over to a blank page and try and draw this from from my mind. And that's probably the best practice that we can get. I'm going to try and draw that quickly here. So we have the, I'm going to see how accurate we are. This is just going to be a really rough sketch. I'm, I'm ignoring this. I hope you take my word for it. I'm not actually looking over there. So I'm drawing this. I've already forgotten everything. But this is why we need to practice, right? Something like this. It's also going to be much shorter because I chose to do it right at the bottom of the page. Smart guy. And we've got the two bones here connecting to the arm. Oh, yeah, that's terrible. But you know what I mean. That this was meant to. Let's look back at it. Okay, yeah, I got that bit kind of right. Screwed this bit up. It's meant to have like a bit more of a shape like this. Yeah, whatever. You get it. What you should do after this and what I'm going to do in the next one, I guess. We can start off with a quick warm-up where we practice this without any references. And then with each one that we do, we obviously check it back with a reference to make sure that we're on the right track. But... This was a arm study, the arm skeleton study. So as you can see, it's gotten a lot darker <laughs> since starting this, but we've got the practice in today. We kind of saw what the main parts of the arm are called and sort of the shape of it. I think the next lesson is going to be, like I mentioned, to practice this and to explore from here onwards onto the torso and maybe even the rest of the skeleton, you know, as I mentioned, this is more of a test video and uh, to see how how it goes. But um, yeah, I think I enjoyed doing this. It almost felt like I was running my own, my own little classroom in there. But I hope you do enjoy this as well. And I'll see you in the next one whenever that is. Hopefully soon. But yeah, look forward to the other video coming out soon this week. So yeah, take care. Go practice. Do some drawing as well. And yeah, get those art pumps going. <laughs>